Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hemingcraft Season 6 with me, Full Symmetry, and today we're on a base, which we weren't going to start at, but blimey, look at that view back there, that is looking fantastic, that mountain, but uh, I may or may not have found uh, myself a, a little, a little friend, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> He is not meant to be there. In fact, the whole time I've had this base, which I think at this point is the majority of the season, I have not once, at least I don't believe I have, found anything spawning in these gaps. In fact, oh yeah, they are actually... Yeah, there's only one block there. I was gonna say, they are only one block tall. A baby zombie, maybe, but not a creeper. Interesting. Okay, well... That is maybe something I can think about tweaking. But speaking of tweaking stuff, I have been actually a busy bee in my live streams. I have made ourselves a second tree. Oh my goodness, hi Ren, you've been busy as well. He's making a tower, nice. That's gonna be really sweet because obviously my side of the island is very much height based. I feel like there's a lot of tall stuff going on and Ren Dog's got cool stuff, but it's not super tall. So it's gonna be really, really nice to actually have something that balances it. Anyway, I got completely distracted there. Yes, we now have our second tree, which I'm super excited about. I think we need to add a few more. One being just behind there over that. Uh, maybe one here, maybe. I'm not really sure how much I want to like make a tall tree at the edge here. Maybe not so much, but there's definitely going to be one over there, and there's going to be one at the front over there. I've sort of made these, like, pillars here to sort of tell myself how tall to make the trees, because I want them all to be a, a similar height and scale, and that is sort of... I know it's dire, right? But it, it is my way of sort of knowing how tall to make those areas. Anyway, today we're actually going to quickly head over to the shopping district, because I have some restocking to do, but other than that... We are going to be heading over to the industrial district today to add some more stuff to what we did in the last episode, which I'm super excited about. So here we are at the mall, and yes, my most profitable shop is the one we're filling up today, which I'm sure you guys all know it by this point, I'm sure. I know that Impulse has been here, and Doc M especially has been here. Our newest shop, I think. There's a Skelebob somewhere, in fact. Did I see something up there? No, I'm seeing things. Um, I can definitely hear him though. He's somewhere in the world. But yes, my most profitable shop is this one here. My leather shop. So every time I'm on the server now, I am basically going um, over to my cow farm, breeding up some cows, killing some, and then putting this in here. Because at 30 diamonds per stack, if we can keep this stocked, which I definitely didn't while I was away, we can make some diamonds. I uh, haven't sold any steak at all, but that's fine. I'm using that for food myself. And in fact, I'm actually going to add some steak as well to, I think, uh, Ren and I's storage system as well. Which I need to start doing with uh, my own blocks as well. I need to start adding some of them, or at least any overflow blocks into there. Because that's actually a really, really handy way of doing it. And if I ever need any, I will head down there to grab some. Uh, anything else we need to do here? I don't think so. Right, let's head off to the industrial district. So, quick detour, because, of course, I completely forgot to bring my uh, materials with me. Which I do way too often. There we go, we've got those ready, and an orange shulk box spare as well. Right, let's head over there, and I need to start building, because I have not got a lot of time today, and we've got quite a tall, big thing to make, I guess. But it's nothing like that, because, fly me, this thing is humongous, and that as well. These look great. Talk about, talk about making mountains, there's even a mountain over there that Cub and Scar have been working on. Crazy, crazy people making mountains just pop out of nowhere. So here we are at the industrial district. This is where I worked in the last episode. In fact, I haven't even worked over here since. Uh, I planned on actually removing all my stuff, which is still in my shulker boxes, plus also adding some um, some cows or some pigs or some chickens or whatever in those. But as you can see, I literally just have not done that. It literally slipped my mind. Also, I've had some great feedback about this one, is putting a weight on the back of it, because of course it looks very sort of front heavy right now. Two, um, we had a message about it just picking up one log. Of course, yes, it would be a bit weird if it was only picking up one log. Uh, maybe it needs to carry two or three. And three, um, we build it quite close to this building. Uh, there might be... No, there isn't enough room for it to spin around, is there? We're gonna make... We're gonna ignore... We're gonna ignore that for now. Um, 
and maybe either move this over to here or even further to like here at some point in a stream or somewhere where I'm just not too worried about wasting my time rebuilding this whole thing or I will ignore it and just never ever move it. I haven't decided what we're doing yet but today we are going to be working not quite here although this was the original place for what we're building today. We're going to build a lighthouse but instead of building it here you guys did confirm to me that yes that area over there it is more appropriate and also I cannot seem to I think it's because I've got the uh I've got all these buffs that are coming from Impulse's base and they're making me faster and it's 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 very uh it's very uh interesting and I'm not used to having sort of a speed boost so yeah we're gonna move the circle all the way over there and yes start building a lighthouse I'm super excited it's gonna add I think something to over there because it's very very boring otherwise and uh yeah I'm excited about today it should be a fun episode so I've built the same circle that was in that middle part, and let's just say I am protecting myself against future possible falls when I'm building this thing, because, yeah, this is super uneven and really, really difficult to climb this mountain, so I think if I just place all of the dirt down that I have, which I'm going to have to go grab some more for scaffolding, if I do this, I will be protected against falling to my death a million and one times, so... I think that should be good and yes exactly the same size as the other one for those that want to know it is five and then two and then the one and then it's two and then five and then two and then one and then two and then five and then you know how the circles go um but this is going to be the base size for this now of course there is a lot of room below so i'm probably going to go out one more with white and then once we build this up to a good height we're going to build obviously a white section and then another red section and then the light's going to go on top there that is the plan so let me get building this red section and i'm going to try and show you guys more of what i build because uh as you guys i'm sure have mentioned many many times in the past i do i do show sort of not a lot of building stuff i sort of tell you guys what my plan is and then don't ever show myself building it which now I think about it, it is a bit weird that I do that. Uh, so I'm going to try and, oh my goodness, I'm going to try and uh, build some more on camera today and hopefully you guys will enjoy that and I won't derp too hard like I just did. That was, that was a fail jump there. <laughs> well, I have unintentionally made a bit of a mob farm here. Just got chased out by this zombie right here who's going to turn into a drowned if we leave him too longer. There we go. And yeah, I totally uh, didn't think that making that dirt platform would turn it into a spawner, but it, it pretty much it pretty much has. So uh, good job, false. Well done. I'm now going to try and get up there and not get creepered. I actually can't. Like, there's a bit. There's a lot of sunlight coming in my window right now, so whenever that happens, I can't see the screen very well. So if I get creepered, I'm trying to listen for footsteps. Is there a creeper up here? I cannot see one. If there is one. And that would be a really nasty surprise. I think we're good. I think we're okay up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't seem to uh, have any uh, any creepy coolies up here, I don't think. We should be okay. So I'm going to light it up just because it really doesn't matter what it looks like in here for now. Uh, we, we could dig this out at some point and add rooms underneath here. But I don't think that's my plan for right now at least. So yeah, right now what I'm up to is I am just fiddling around with the bottom of this. Um... I think this is correct. Yeah, we want to go like there, so like this. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm continuing the design. That does line up, right? No, it doesn't. Does it? No, it doesn't. What have I done? What have I done here? What have we got going on? Is this meant to be two? No, that's meant to be two. That's why I see what I've done wrong. My bad. So yeah, I am just fiddling around this bottom part, and I've been thinking while I'm building this white part is that when it goes underwater. Usually I'd be building this like from the bottom of the sea floor upwards, but because I'm not doing that, I'm thinking, you know what? We can make it yellowish when it goes underneath the water. I'm not sure what color block to go with. Maybe white terracotta. It's sort of got like a bit more of a peachy, peachy uh, tone to it, sort of an off-white. Uh, I think that's going to look really cool. So at some point uh, when I decide that this is exactly what I want. Uh, I will do the details like that, but for right now, I just need to get all of these blocks at the bottom here done, and once I've got all these done, we can start working on the second and third layer, because, well, no, wait, yeah, if this is layer one, that's layer two, yeah, second and, uh, nope, third and fourth layer, my bad. <laughs> right, so here's the view from this far away, I'm thinking, I've stopped the quartz stairs there, because I'm thinking we might want to go up a couple more blocks, so I'm leaving them there for now, 
but you can sort of see why I've, I've sort of added that extra area because otherwise that would have been all red all the way down to like there and there is another idea here um, of I'm gonna add some rocks around here but we won't do that in today's video we'll do that off camera because uh, it'll just be me placing stone in sort of random spiky uh, not sure what else to use to describe uh, rocks. I'm basically gonna make rocks around it, basically, out of stone and stuff. So this white bit at the top here can be ignored. That's just gonna be like the start of where the light is. The light is gonna be above that. So it's gonna be a little bit taller, maybe 10 blocks or so. Um, that white bit there, that's gonna have the light on top. So I'm thinking, oh, that's my bad. Uh, I'm thinking this white bit wants to go a little bit taller because from down here, you're not gonna be able to see that much of it once it's back a little bit. Because what I am gonna do is every layer we're gonna have, I'm not sure how this is gonna look inside, but every layer, I want to have like a balcony all the way around. So let me get some blocks together, which I don't know why I've flown down here, they're inside. Let me get some blocks together and sort of build this ba balcony idea that I have and uh, hope that it works. I think I need spruce, spruce, no, dark oak. Dark oak and spruce, that's the one. Dark oak, whatever these things are called, and and spruce slabs. That is the one. So I think I've made a plan and the plan is to have these blocks here around it. So that is the idea. So I'm gonna have these in this sort of fashion. I'm going to then probably put fences on top of these and I'm going to I think put slabs in the middle. So I've sort of decided that this is about the shape I think I want for this next one going up. I think it's going to be big enough. Let's just put a couple markers here and here. I think that'll be big enough as a circle. Yeah, I think that should be for the next one. It could be a little bit bigger maybe. I definitely have room here. I didn't expect to have three wide here. It could be one bigger. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, this is my plan here. So this is going to be obviously a big wall going up again, uh, same here, and I'm thinking we just stuff here a load of slabs, we'll keep them on the, the top slab as well, we can always move them down if we want to place other stuff on here, because obviously top slabs are, or bottom slabs are a massive pain to build on top of, but because I want this to be pretty much just a walkway, shouldn't be too much of an issue, so I'm thinking, just chuck, I mean that does make them look like quite tall, but then you can stand up here and look out. I think that'll be fine. But yeah, we're going to add something like this going around. So let's add these here. Uh, I was going to try and add some here as well. Can we do that kind of thing? Oh, that's actually helpful. I'll do that. So then I can place blocks the correct way around, like so. There you go. And then that's not going to work here, so I'm just going to do that instead. <laughs> we'll cheat a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm going to quickly fly away and just see how that looks visually, because I don't know if that's going to work or not. We're going to have to do a lot of steps back here to just check that we're building to the right scale because I have not built this um, in, a, in a single player creative world so I don't know exactly the scale of this. Right, fingers crossed, let's stand up here for now. That looks really nice. That looks exactly like a, I imagine a lighthouse to look. Um, obviously we need a, a bit more of a <laughs> thing there. I'm also going to probably add windows in these but Details like that and any block variations I add last so I'm building it just like the super super basic blocks So like if you're sketching something out, I guess this isn't the sketch This is the sort of first line work you do. I think that's probably what this is more than anything But I yeah, definitely think this is gonna be the way to go and I'm just gonna build this up a little bit Just check that it's definitely the right width before I place down too many blocks um, And obviously building it tall is gonna make it easier to see so I'm gonna quickly do this Step back one more time and just double check, triple check, quadruple check that it's going to be good from here. Is that a good width? No. That needs to come out at least one more. <laughs> and that is why we check this, because otherwise going up that's just going to be super thin and then this red area here is going to be even thinner. Well, uh, that's <laughs> interesting there. <laughs> I thought I would be the one to be doing that today, falling from a higher place. Um, <laughs> he fell off something. Oh dear. Ren! Speaking, speaking of falling off something, I can't land on something at the moment. Actually, I don't even need to land on that. Why am I doing that? I need to come down here to my shelter boxes. Uh, for some reason, I'm an idiot and didn't actually make a doorway. I should actually... You know what? I need a doorway, don't I? 
Perfect, I've got a doorway in there. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. Uh, nice, yeah, so we're gonna have to probably, when we do the terrain here, which isn't today, uh, we'll fit around with this and make it a bit more like an actual doorway. But what's nice about it is it all does go this way quite nicely. Uh, so there is space to sort of... Oh yeah, we're gonna need somewhere for you to tow up a boat, right? So we're gonna have we could have like a ladder up this way or this way and have like a little tiny sailboat there. Oh, that's gonna be adorable. And then the cargo ship over there. I don't know if the cargo ship should go a landscape like it is or portrait sort of like more like it's pulling in or pulling out of the dock. What do you guys think? A landscape like it is right now or coming in or out of the dock like probably this side or maybe that side if there's enough room as well. Please let me know on that. Anyway, I think we are almost close to uh, be do be done here, I think. Uh, I need to add sort of the rest of these. Oh my goodness, please. Okay. <laughs> that was so close. I must have like just about got there. Uh, I don't think Ren needs any help actually. I was just, just thinking maybe I should offer her some help, but I, he's probably fine. I died the other day and it was it was sort of fine. I obviously and that was in the last episode and yeah, I mean it was fine. I complained at the time, but <laughs> technically it wasn't the most awful thing in the world. Um, it could have been a heck of a lot worse. That is for sure. Right, let's take a fly around. Let's see it from this sort of angle. Beautiful. Let's see it sort of the other side at this sort of angle. Um, beautiful. Let's look at it from down below or above. Yeah, because you can sort of see the the sort of browns of the balconies there. I think that looks really sweet, actually. It's it's really pleasing to the eyes, symmetrical builds like this. I know full symmetry is my name, but symmetrical builds sometimes is my game. <laughs> um, right, that one, I think two higher, and then we'll add the light on top. And hopefully that's not too thin to hold it up, but generally I think that it should be fine. So uh, I'm gonna add some windows. Start adding the light area and then I'll bring you guys back in when we've got another balcony because that's all I'm going to make again. One of these balconies and then stick the light in there somewhere. <laughs> right, I was about to build the light here and I think I still will, or at least part of it. But as you can see, I haven't got an awful lot of sea lanterns. Actually, you know what? Oh no, this definitely isn't enough. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say it isn't enough and then I was like, oh, they're going further than I thought. But yeah, not not quite. So my plan here is to just do something simple with sea lanterns. Have sort of this extra white uh, glass here. I don't want to go with yellow because it would clash with this sort of green here. But this white is really, really nice because it sort of mutes the colour a little bit. And makes it sort of less intense. Because I don't really want there to be colour here. If these were just white shining blocks, that would be great. But of course they're not like that. Um, so we just have to have to deal with what we have. Um, I was just thinking as well, it'd be really, really awesome, and I keep saying this, this is like my catchphrase at the moment, when, we, when we're on 1.14, this is gonna look, just everywhere's gonna look so much better. I'm just gonna be adding lanterns everywhere. Like, lanterns are gonna look great on that dock there. They could, they could look really good on here as well. We definitely need to add windows or something, don't we? But yeah, you can sort of see from up here what we're going with with this a little bit. And not quite, but I do need to go get some sea lanterns, so let's check our shop. Well, I say our shop. I mean, Iskol's shop, possibly? Hopefully he's selling some. I've got a feeling he's not. Maybe Azuma will. Let's just hope someone's got some. I'm pretty sure Iskol doesn't, though, which is super irritating. And possibly something to do with the whole Concorp and uh, Sahara debacle. That could definitely be the case. Yep, and there are none in here either. Right, well, I guess what I have to do... Oh, I shouldn't come out of here. That's, this is not... No. I mean, I can get out of there, just it's not right. Wait, can I? Can I, <laughs> can I actually not get out of there? <laughs> that was just weird. What was happening there? That was so weird. Uh, I don't know what I was stuck on. That was very, very odd. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go to uh, Iskol's farm. I'm sorry, Iskol. I just, I just have to go to your farm. Oh, or I could go to uh, Azuma's. I might go to Azuma's, drop some diamonds into him as well. And just take some because I, I what am I asking my men to do? If you don't stock your shops, you don't get any business, okay? <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> I'll let Zuma know as well. And he is somewhere over here, but yeah, just just behind here somewhere, I think. Right, I've left some diamonds in the chest there. Haven't even taken that much, but uh it should uh, tide me over for a little while and also get our lighthouse done. Um so if I can get in the air, we'll head on back and I will finish off the light. Can I Please get in the air. Oh my goodness, that just takes so, so long. 
Okay, I'm just finishing up the roof here, adding the sort of same stairs that I've got just below this area. And it's starting to look okay. I don't think I've quite got the, uh, which is fine. If I don't get it quite right, it's not, it's not the end of the world if this isn't the best lighthouse I've ever made. In fact, I think the one last season was my favourite lighthouse I've ever made. Because I have made, I think... A fair amount in my sort of time building <laughs> building in Minecraft. I was about to say in my time building lighthouses. That makes it sounds like sound like every season I built a lighthouse, which I I don't think I have. Don't think I have. I think last season was probably the first I want to say <laughs> that I've made. Uh, actually, no, I lie. Um, Amplified. I think I built a uh, a lighthouse, didn't I? Yes, I and had a working light as well. I mean that was pretty good redstone wise. Um, and then the one last season was probably my favourite build-wise. Because I used bricks, but I didn't really want to use bricks with this design. One, because I did bricks are just a pain in the butt to gather and I don't have an awful lot of them. And... That's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> uh, that and I didn't think they were going to quite fit as well. I didn't want to obviously have bricks here. Because um, obviously buildings have got bricks here, so it's not like they, they, they could be other blocks. But anyway, let's take a step back and have a look. I'm thinking the white could go up again a little bit more in the bottom. Um, especially from this angle, I think it's the angle more than anything. So I think what I'm going to do is quickly just try and move that up a little bit. I don't want to make this section smaller than that section, though, if I can help it. I think it is that bit, which is really uh, lucky, actually, that that is that bit that I think is wrong. Because that bit can easily be moved. Everything else cannot be easily moved. But this bit definitely can. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe move this up two, maybe three times. Uh, three blocks tall, maybe higher, um, and we will see if it looks better. I think it will. Fingers crossed it will. And then, then we'll add the windows perhaps to this section and, uh, see how we can make this look. Okay, I've got a chance to look at it at night time real quick while I'm the only one on the server. Yeah, look how nice that looks. That's not quite right, but yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And definitely bringing that white around the front was really good idea. Yeah, really happy with that. Looks great. Cool. Right, let's have a quick nap before all these guys come and try to kill me, which is definitely going to happen. Definitely going to get a shot in the head. I'm running asleep. Please leave me alone. Oh, we're good. Oh, my goodness. That... Oh, did you see that arrow? That was an arrow coming after me as I flew away. Oh, my goodness. Terrifying. Right, cool. Let me finish this up, make some windows, and I'll bring you guys back here to sort of show you what I've got going on. Because uh, right now it's not, it's not quite done. <laughs> Right, I've done a small little bit of work on windows here. I'm thinking something like this could work at the top. I'm not 100%. It's meant to sort of be a smaller version of what I've done below, which I'll now show you guys. Uh, let's actually have a fly over to the roof over here and we'll zoom in um, instead. Um, yeah, that's sort of what I've got there. I've got fence posts, of course, either side. I might build the up one because it feels like there should be less of a gap at the top there. But I think overall... Doesn't look bad, but what I'm about to do is live stream. Uh, my live streams are over on twitch.tv uh, forward slash full symmetry if you want to come check them out. Um, I live stream for maybe like three hours uh, most days, uh, Wednesday to Sunday usually. And what I do in my live streams is little tasks where it's like getting stuff done. So my trees, of course, are a big task at the moment, doing little things about the place. And with this, I want to get a lot done. I want to try and do a little bit of work with the terrain. I wasn't going to fit it in this episode, but because my I didn't finish this episode before I live stream, I'm going to try and like build up this and make it look more rock-like, more like this a little bit, sort of here. And I might try and build some spiky ones on this side, or maybe a little bit further away. And then I'll come back to you guys and hopefully have a heck of a lot more done, which granted you guys aren't going to be able to see unless you're at the live stream, but it means that the progress is a lot, is a lot more, there's a lot more progress and hopefully you guys will like the lighthouse more because hopefully it'll look better next time I show you guys. I did just hop into a creative world as well, didn't show you guys, but I literally put some brick in here. I decided to try and like put, you know, some other red blocks, some red concrete and concrete powder and none of them look good mixed in with this red. So I've decided to keep it just plain red, which is really annoying, but maybe I'll be able to like add some vines to it, add some leaves to it, make it feel a little bit more derelict. And hopefully in that way we will add enough detail where it doesn't look as simple. Although I shouldn't really worry too much, because if any biome, or district I should say, is simple, I feel like, I mean that's quite detailed, that one. Um, but I feel like because they're quite um, geometric in 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 stuff, it, it doesn't feel as detailed as, like, say, I was going to say that as an option, but that isn't, 
got all the detail I want it to have just yet. But yeah, like other districts, maybe have less uh, or more detail, let's say. Right, so one live stream later, I've done a whole bunch of work on the rocks until the server crashed during my stream. So I literally wasn't able to finish it quite off. Um, I was actually nearly finished, so there's not very much uh, more for me to do. I'm probably just going to tweak it a little bit here and there, but here we have it. Now, if you're wondering why there's a fire still there, I cannot put that out. Uh, I'll try again, actually. It might be why the... or a reason why the server might have crashed, or not a reason why it crashed, but... Um, it could be it could be the server causing issues. I don't I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe it was because we were lagging a lot. I can put it out now. Okay, that that shows the server was really struggling yesterday. I couldn't put that black player out. That's wild. Anyway, uh, so what I've done at the back here, real quick, I've added a couple of ladders um, like this, and I'm gonna have like a little tiny sailboat here because obviously you know someone needs to, be able to get to the lighthouse, and I think that it looks really really nice that we've got like a little double platform here up top so you can so you can get up there and then yeah uh, this again is going to be something that's going to look great with 1.14 because we're going to have the stone slabs uh, which I'm going to obviously change here instead of these ones and inside I've done a little tiny bit of work where I've got ladders and I've got doorways and stuff like that can I even get up here let's let's try this oh okay yeah so this for example is what it's looking like I've made it sort of like this in here so like, if I do want to add furniture, it's going to be easy because I don't have the whole um, <laughs> the whole slab up uh, situation. But out here, I'm not really going to have that. So yeah, really, really happy with how this has turned out. We'll probably add more detail to it as time goes on, including up here, perhaps maybe some like little bits of um, some vines, some some leaves and stuff like that. But yeah, the server crashed, like I say, and I wasn't able to do everything I wanted to do. That was also really weird. That torch vanished. Did you see that? That was wild. Unless I threw it on the floor. I did. Okay, my bad. <laughs> oh man, I need to stop recording. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you didn't, uh, you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.